like that. So I took a, uh, an Uber here, and my driver asked who I was interviewing, and I was like, well, I'm interviewing Floyd Mayweather, and he, you know, obviously had a lot of opinions about you. Mm, and I shout said, out to Uber drivers. A shout out to the Uber driver, very nice man, you know, but he, you know, had very strong opinions of you, and I'm, I'm used to people having strong opinions of you, and now being in a position to actually say what the truth is, like, yeah, I, I get why you would say that, but it's the complete opposite. And so he was like, oh, he's going to go broke soon. I was like, the one thing he's not going to do <laughs> is go broke because people don't well, really sure. people, well, don't, actually, people don't really understand just not only, you know, your, your business savvy, mm -hmm. but also how many people you employ. Like, well, I, I well, well today, like actually, that. before I got well, here. Well, we were talking about the girls we, and we, how we, we invest we, in their we, business. We're going to talk about like the that. girls. Yeah. We're going to talk about the girls, but yeah. I'm going to say something right now. Okay. Just before I got here, I had a meeting mm -hmm. uh, with a guy, um, one of the wealthiest guys in the world. Mm -hmm. um, but another billion dollar deal I put together. Well, we well that actually uh, Tanasha Pettigrew. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Tanasha. Shout out to Tanasha. Tanasha, you know, real, yeah. real estate <laughs> dream makers. Mm -hmm. um, me and her been through a lot together, mm -hmm. but she put a uh, she put me together with another uh, with another major heavy hitter, mm -hmm. and. We're working on something, another huge project that's worldwide. I should make from this deal. I should make um, somewhere upwards of uh, 1.2 billion. Wow! So as of right now, you know, a lot of times. Hold on, can you repeat that one time? <laughs> <laughs> just, say, just say that number again. Um, I should I should make somewhere upwards. I can't I can't really say the time frame, but somewhere upwards of 1.2 billion. And, and goodbyes went to heaven with that. Well, and, and, and as of and as a right now, later doing the math. So Tanasha's uh, hold on. And as a right and as a right now, I haven't. Hey girl. You hey. know, um, I made I made a lot of smart investments. Mm -hmm. You know, um, um, nine buildings in Times Square. We're in New York City. You know, around the Times Square area. You know, that's what I own. You know what I think? You know what I found really fascinating about you when we were, you know, looking at that property in Las Vegas that. 29 million dollar house that first of all can we just talk about the house there's only i don't even know I mean, there's only one room in that house that matters and that's the bedroom that's three stories tall yeah. three yeah. Zones. Yeah. When, the, the uh, new house is this la the, no oh, no in vegas. vegas um the basketball new, court all that but a new house in vegas but what I found really interesting was the fact that you know that when you move into the neighborhood, the property value goes up. So you use that as like a bargaining tool when it comes to knocking the price down on what you want to pay. And that well, that's the same thing. I feel the same way with the ladies. I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> nice segue right no, no, there. This is true. I feel like... I feel like this. When a woman is with me, mm -hmm. her value appreciates. Mm -hmm. All and, if she's, and, and if she's not with me, it depreciates. That was good. Mm. Same way I feel. <laughs> That's Floyd Mayweather talking about his billion dollar investment deal with Warren Buffett uh, as one of the spearheads behind it. See, when you're rich and you're smart and you're you surrounding yourself with the right people, they show you how to make your money work for you. Now, these uh, commercial projects are not of this country. Most of these projects are energy, oil, fuel-based projects. And what he's talking about is a potential $1.2 billion deal that's going on. Renovations and properties that's going to be built on different lands and different you know islands St. Lucia project that's one of the major projects right now that's going on that's a billion dollar project you have a project in Nigeria um, you have a project in South Africa you have projects in all of these like smaller countries where people don't normally go to vacation and having jobs being made because they are investing money into building. In Nigeria, you deal with the Ministry of Defense that's um, that's controlling the uh, the property there for the sovereign guarantee, which means that you have to hire the people. You can't just hire outside contractors to come in and work in that country. They, the sovereign guarantee guarantees that you 
have to use the people that actually live there to, to, for the project so that they would get the revenue as well which creates jobs for the people there so you have to have X amount of jobs whatever and this project goes on for years so as long as these they keep expanding and building on the projects you're looking at something that can go from 300 million to 400 million to 500 million depends on your percentage into the deal for an average human being this type of money is not normally available to you because even if you broker the deal you'll get a nice piece for brokering a deal like that but if you're an actual investor you see a lot more benefit in the project this could be a ten billion dollar project when it's all said and done so when everybody gets their piece of the pie you know he might be looking at 1.2 billion see but we don't have the money normally to put into the to a plan such as this so I just hope some people understand exactly what I'm talking about other than that uh, and enjoy it it's called Hollywood Unlocked and I'll send you the link in the description box so you guys can listen to the show I'm out